Good morning, everybody. This is science uh, for the weekend. So we're almost at the end of the science book, which is great news because we're almost at the end of the year. So we've done everything right on time. Uh, and we should feel really happy about that. So this is probably one of the more interesting units about planets and the solar system and other things that exist in space like meteorites and asteroids and things like that. Uh, but unfortunately, it's such a short unit and chapter, uh, and there's not a lot about it. So let's try to make some of our own activities for this weekend. The first activity uh, is from your workbook. Uh, and it's page 90. So if you need help with this, remember that uh, it's in your pupil's book, all this information. We also talked a lot about this last week, uh, not last week, this week um, on Zoom, and you did a lot of reading about this. So all of this information, if you need help, you can find in your pupil's book, and I hope you remember some of it. Uh, and pay attention to what they're doing here. So this is going to be part of your other activity for this weekend. Hello. <laughs> Please leave. Uh, all right, so this, let me just write what this is. Okay, this I did actually when we were still at school. So this is our solar system, let me show you. So you can see here, I hope you recognize what this is without me having to tell you, this is the sun, and then we have our eight planets, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, of course, no Pluto, poor Pluto, Ooh, where is that? Uh, and the other thing I included was the moon. So this is our moon for Earth. I don't know if you remember, but we also talked about other planets having moons. And we're going to talk about that uh, next week. So I'd like you to do this diagram. Uh, you have to have your planets in the right order. So closest to the sun is Mercury. Uh, farthest from the sun is Neptune. And there's Earth, which is uh, the third closest planet to the sun. Uh, and you see uh, that I have sort of the right sizes as well. So, uh, where's... Ah, here, Jupiter, which is our biggest planet. And then it's a little bit hard to find things to make perfect circles, but I tried. So, to make a perfect circle, you have to be very creative and look around your house. So, let's see what I have here. I have things like this. Now, you put it on your page and you can trace around with your pencil. Uh, you also have things like money. So you see this tiny one here, which is maybe good for Mars. You can trace that. Uh, a lot of your moms might have some makeup or creams or something like that. They have very nice round lids. You can trace around that. Or in the kitchen too, so the bottom of cups or the top of cups. All right, a lot of stuff. So I'd like to see your diagram like this. You have to have the right labels on it, so it should say solar system. Uh, if you want to put the moon, you can. If you want to put a few moons around Jupiter, remember Jupiter has some extra moons, you can. If you're someone who's very excited about asteroids and meteorites and you know very well what those look like, you can add a couple of those too. So your solar system doesn't have to look like mine. You can be creative, use your own ideas, but it should still have all the planets in the right order and the right size. And if you can think about the colors too, that would be great. Uh, these lines here, of course, are the lines of orbit. We talked about orbit uh, this week. So orbit, we decided, so if this is the sun, 
the planets go around, so they orbit. So these are the lines of orbit, and the planets will move along them. So two things for you to do, page 90 in your workbook. And you have to do a diagram like this, uh, but be creative, and I look forward to, see what, to seeing what you can do. I think you will have some beautiful drawings. Uh, okay, so I'm going to see you again on, I don't remember, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. Uh, but anyways, this is due by the end of Sunday. Okay, so have a wonderful weekend, and please have fun with this. Okay, bye.